There's a new mini series for you to binge this weekend, but maybe keep the lights on and the kids out of the room. It Ooh. looks a little bit intense. This is going to be too scary for me. Our TCL movie guy, Paul McGuire Grimes, got to sit down with the cast and the creator of The Sister. It already sounds oh, spooky. Yeah. Take a look. What are you doing here? You can't come here. They're digging up the woods. We've got to move her before they dig her up. What made you want to turn your novel, Burial, into a limited series? And what were you most looking forward to in, in kind of changing it for this medium specifically? I, um, I've, it's a story that has always lived with me. And well, the, the characters have always lived with me. Uh, and it was just, it was a pleasure to be able to go back and to revisit the story in one form and to reconstruct it in another. And one of the greatest pleasures of my job is, is to take these people who you make up from some weird fragment of your own psyche and, and see them embodied by, by actors who, who bring them to life in kind of rich and unexpected and kind of incredibly joyful ways. Is this your wife? Nathan, what have you done? Why would you marry the dead girl's sister? I watched all four episodes all in one row. Do you recommend right. the full day binge? Because Hulu will have them all together. But in Britain, it was one night after the next, right, that this aired, correct? Yes, it was. It was It was what we call um, stripped across a week. Um, so, yeah, I think, you know, I'm I'm agnostic about binging. I think if you feel like you want to you wanna go for it, go for it. But if you want to savour it bit by bit, uh, you know, then do that. I'm still quite like to sort of make an appointment of you and have a little think between. I'm a binge watcher, so I always say, watch it all. But I like gratification. So. <laughs> I think in a story like this, every episode's a chapter. Mm -hmm. uh, so sometimes you want to rush through the chapters, sometimes you want to, you know, read one more chapter before you go to bed. I just, so I don't know. That's a really good question. It's a question I've honestly not considered before. However you want to watch it, just watch it. If you want to <laughs> yeah, do it, watch it. Show, you, just, just, just watch it and, in, and enjoy it. I think it's definitely a show that you feel like you want to get to the end to know what's going on. Okay, here now from the website, Paul's trip to the movies. It's Paul McGuire Grimes. Uh, Paul, it was a fabulous conversation with these Brits about something that the first frame that showed, Elizabeth and I were like, Scary. We'll pass, looks creepy. Um, it is creepy. Okay. I sat and watched all four of these in a row. I got glued to this story, especially because this main character, you know, he may or may not have been involved with the death of his wife's sister. And throughout this, we're figuring out what exactly happened that night and who was a stranger that came to kind of unleash all these secrets. And you're starting to second guess our central character. Did he or did he not do it? What happened? Should we trust him? And I like that angle. And there are plenty of flashbacks. So you really got to pay attention, put the pieces together. I love anything that's paranormal involving ghosts. What you didn't see in those interviews is Russell Toby and I sharing our own personal ghost stories. So you can find that on my YouTube channel. So that's really fun too if you want to hear my ghost story. Oh. Oh, but I, I enjoyed it. It's dark, it's gritty. And uh, Elizabeth, you always ask about what's the commitment? What am I getting myself into? Yeah. Four episodes, 45 minutes each. So That's you can good. crank through it pretty quickly on a snowy afternoon. I like that. Ticket stubs, sir. Three out of five ticket stubs for the sister. It's on Hulu starting today. There you go. Okay, there are a few other new releases on Hulu that are worth checking out. Nomad Land. Tell us about this. Yeah, so this is coming February 12th to Hulu. It stars Frances McDormand, and she's getting massive Oscar buzz for this movie. I've watched it already, and I'm excited to talk about it. And she plays this woman named Fern who is who becomes a nobody after losing her, her job and her career and her life. And we really see what it's like being on the road, being a nomad. And this movie is very much kind of like a documentary. So I'm excited for people to check it out. Okay, so that one will be on Hulu coming up. Okay. And yes. then there's another one, uh, let's see here, coming on out in February called The United States versus Billie Holiday. What's this all about? So it stars Andra Day, the singer who is phenomenal. She's We're great. getting to see act as Billy Holiday. This is a movie by Lee Daniels, who did Precious and The Butler. And I'm really excited to see what she can do with the legend that is Billy Holiday and learn more about her story. And this is coming February 26th. And people are really raving about her performance as well. Looks good. Boy, that movie Precious, that has haunted me for oh, years. Oh, based on the novel Pushed by Sapphire. Yeah. That's what yes, they say. Um, okay, Paul, now let's shift to a different streaming service, one that I think a lot of folks at home probably subscribe to, Disney Plus, they have offered us something new from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's called WandaVision. Uh, two episodes came out last Friday. The latest one just dropped today. People are looking at their screen right now and saying, what am I seeing? Explain. 
Yeah, so Marvel is going in a really brand new direction for their properties. They have 12 series coming up. This is the first one. Marvel fan favorite characters, Wanda and Vision. And as you can see here, they're newly married, starting this kind of cheery suburban life in a sitcom. So the first two episodes, black and white, they will remind you of the Dick Van Dyke show, Bewitched. Mm -hmm. And then in the third episode that drops today, very much as a Brady Bunch inspired episode. So they're really paying homage to sitcoms throughout the decades. And while we may not hear about the Avengers yet, each episode ends kind of peeling back the curtain, showing that something's going to be happening. Something is coming with these two characters. Well, I'll so tell you this, and a warning for any of, uh, you, you know, I sat down with a couple of our kids to watch it, and my eight-year-old kept turning saying, is it going to be black and white the whole time? And I was yeah. like, no, they'll drop this in a few minutes. 20 minutes yeah. in, is it still going to do this? The whole first episode, they commit to the black and white thing. So they are taking the long game approach here in WandaVision, but perhaps that will set us up for an even greater Truman Show-esque reveal to what's really going on. Yeah, I'm really excited. I mean, you get the heightened, broad, comedic uh, comedy and the writing and the acting, so it's lighthearted and joyous. I think we all need some fun like that oh, right Oh, good. Now. I want to watch this. Okay, and there are more Marvel shows on the way on Disney+. Plus. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. What's this? Yes, this is coming March 2021. You know, we've seen these characters in the other Avengers movies, and Marvel is going all in. We've got new shows, more movies coming. It's going to be fun to see them in, again, another 30-minute series. And I think it's going to take over, much like we saw The Mandalorian did for Star Wars. And then Loki, fan-favorite villain Loki from the Thor I movies. I love He's Loki. Series coming May 2021. So it'll be exciting to see what Marvel is doing with these characters in a very new setting, much like we're seeing with WandaVision. And then how will they connect to the Avengers stories that we already know? Right. You know, my favorite part about this, too, and, and kudos to Disney Plus for doing this. They give you a couple episodes in, in some of these cases at the beginning, and then yep. you don't feel the rush or the pressure amongst your friends to just like burn through it yeah. all and binge watch everything. I like that they dropped them one week at a time. I now like we it get too. excited. We're like, what are we going to watch on it's Friday? It's so night? fun. This is how we were with The Mandalorian every Friday. Okay. We were so excited to all come home together and all watch it. And I think that that is something that we were missing for a while. And yes. I love going back to that a little bit. Paul, great job. Paul, thanks, buddy. Thank you very much. Good to see you. You can visit Paul's website. It's paulstriptothemovies.com for updates on movies and streaming services. You can also listen to Paul on the Colleen and Bradley show on MyTalk 1071 every Friday or watch him on his YouTube channel, also called Paul's Trip to the Movies. He just watches so many movies. He watches so He's got his agenda. He said, what are you doing this weekend? He has more he said, movies to watch than hours movies. in the weekend. TCL's Movie Trip is brought to you by Muska Lighting. Their designers are ready to help you find the perfect lighting. Boy, that's that pretty. pretty. Yeah, For your home is. with ideas to match your style and your budget. They want people to leave happy. Boy, they got all sorts of fixtures that you can get up there really change the space. Up next, a fun winter activity to try outside, especially in the coldest of temperatures. You'll want to see this. It's next. Thanks to Muska Lighting for sponsoring TCL's movie trip. Replace old and dated fixtures with a new light and change the look and feel of your home. Our mudroom fixture from Muska Lighting is a total showstopper. We get compliments from everyone who walks through the door. Talk to the experts at Muska Lighting in Roseville and Eden Prairie for help finding the perfect light for you.